Alright guys, well this is uh, the second video in the Real Talk series and uh, just trying to bring you more of what you've been asking for, even though nobody asked for this. Uh, I'm bringing it anyways. Uh, yeah, so let's just jump into it. How's your experience with guys? Like, so, you know, we've gone out a lot together and, uh, you know, I've always, I've always said and I believe that it's attitude. You know, we have a really good chemistry when we go out, and I think we even like like different like types of guys, so we don't have to worry about like going after the same dude. I'm going after some skinny, scrawny dude with no muscles, and you're talking to black guys. So, <laughs> false. That's not true. What? I just honestly, you're talking to a black guy. behind you I'm not that moper yeah I'm yeah. not I'm so would you say that you we've been out together have you seen some guys walk right by me and just go up to you like repeatedly like because like here's this white girl here I don't know if you're familiar with this but I don't know if I should say this on camera we'll still have a friendship after I say this there's an expression here uh, amongst the Korean guys it's called white riding the white horse <laughs> She's like, Ta -da. and like it's just the fact of meeting a white girl, like that high standard of being seen with like a white girl. It's the like the the crown, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, so basically, what I'm asking you is like, when we go out, do you feel like some guys are like, where it at? Where it at? Trying to rap, trying to rap. <laughs> like, have you noticed that? And you can be honest. And I know. know. And. Before the camera's turned on, Kelly says, you know what, it's okay, you can be honest. I am 100% being honest mm -hmm. right now. That I feel like the guys beeline to Kelly. I feel like the guys beeline. Really? And, yeah, she gets stopped. Cause like, <laughs> I feel like I get stopped in the club. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and I mean, like, it's nice, like, yeah. it is. And I mean, like, it, it, it's nice, like, it's a nice compliment. Yeah. But, like, 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 like your friend said too in yeah. his video. You, you get stopped. I have to get mom. She gets noticed. But the thing is, Everywhere. like, what about that guy you stole from me? Okay. I knew she was gonna say that. <laughs> I probably could have <laughs> mouthed those words. I swear. Oh my. It was let, coming. I was waiting. Let's talk time. about that night, Kelly. Shall we? Let's talk about how we go for different guys, alright? So, let's talk about it. She stole the guy from me! She introduced me. It was on accident. Ah! You were walking with one Korean boy. He was carrying her purse. That is oh, standard yeah, couple, cool. girlfriend, boyfriend, right there. Yep, yeah, so Kelly decides to introduce me to her boyfriend's friend. He wasn't not my boyfriend. I thought I was being a good friend by keeping her boyfriend's friend <laughs> by just being good company. And then all of a sudden, this girl drops. Soon as he gets up to go to the bathroom, there's been a mistake. You've got my man. <laughs> I said, what? You introduced me to him. I thought I was just being a good friend by keeping your boyfriend's friend company. I wasn't even interested in the guy. He wasn't my type. He was Kelly's type. He goes yeah. for different types. Yeah. 
had glasses and a sweater. Totally my type. You wear a sweater in the club? Call me. It's funny because I thought the guy she was with was cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. And he was carrying her purse. What would you say? Like, how have Korean guys treated you? Um, well, I would say that, um... Again, what's very different is when you meet them, the conversation, the starting conversation. Like I was telling you before, I'm a very sarcastic person. Like, I like the initial flirting, I like to banter, I like to have that fun, flirty conversation, bantering back and forth, that, that kind of stuff. It's very factual here, it's very to the point. It's very, um, where are you from? How old are you? How old are you is a very important question. Yeah. I did not realize how oh important age was. It's so annoying. Oh, age is such an important factor here. It's like number one or number two in their questions. Yeah. How old are you? And number one being, do you live alone? And let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If number, if that's the first question coming out their mouth, do you live alone? A. Delete. Control. All. Delete. I. <laughs> Seriously, because they only want one. Okay, go on. So the I don't know. the conversation's very different, but it's also I want to be your Korean boyfriend. I want to be your Korean boyfriend. Oh, just like that. All right. So just it's official right now. It's right now. So we're Korean. No, I don't work that way. So, I guess for me, I never really took any of them up on yeah. that opportunity. It doesn't matter what country you live in, you're going to run into yeah. these gems here and there. We, you're gonna, you're gonna, <laughs> I was like, gems? <laughs> That's a sarcasm! <laughs> That's a sarcasm you were talking about. I'm like, gems? What are you talking about? So, you're going to have to weed out the... Yeah. You're going to have to kiss the frogs before you get yeah. the prince. It doesn't matter what country you live in, so... I feel like I've been lucky. I've met some nice guys, you know, I met some guys yeah, you that have. I've liked and, you know. She's gotten been... poetry slammed in front of her. Really? Well, initially, the one guy who was smitten with you. Who was that? The well, one guy that didn't turn out so well. Oh, yeah. Because, well, I mean, I don't know what it is with me and old guys, but... <laughs> Our experiences have been like night and day. Yeah. She tells me about this gorgeous guy that just completely took her breath away on the subway that walked by her and then turned around and just could not leave her sight without getting her phone number. I had some guy following me after we saw a scary movie. Some guy following me in an alley <laughs> the same on my night. <laughs> yeah, the exact same night. It's, it, uh, I told her, I was like, mark this one for the video of yeah. different experiences. I had some guy following me in the alley, just <laughs> wanting to take me out. And I said, right now? Yes. Drinks. Opa, honey. <laughs> that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. All right. Do you feel like you get special privileges here in Korea because... I'm hitting her with questions that are not on this paper. <laughs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> on my Tumblr, uh, there's some, you know, people that I follow, and they're like, yeah, we got we got hooked up at the bar. You know, we got drinks, and we got free food. We got to cut in line. And there. <laughs> and, you know, I'm asking her these questions because I already know the answer. Because, you know, we're friends, and, like, you know, we talk about these kind of things. And to me, like, Laura's, like, a gorgeous girl. Girl, you know what I'm saying? Like a super beautiful girl. And you're gonna think, you know, because she's like a white girl and you know she's super gorgeous, that she's getting privileges up the ass. But has that happened to you? Have you felt like you've been getting privileges? No. And I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Know. It's funny because coming to Korea, it's true. It, I've never been made out to feel like the other person. Yeah. Now, you know, I can say that I feel like, I'm like being honest, like, I feel like I've gotten privilege now because I'm an American. And like, I feel like I've had a lot of things happen to me that I've told you about and you're like, that never happens to me. Thanks, see? <laughs> I, like, like I said, I feel like we've had this conversation over and over again, and I've been honest with you. Yeah, you yeah, told yeah. me about all these stories, and man, growing up, I've never had those experiences or yeah. these stories. And it could be because of the area where we live in. See, I live in Gimpo, which is 
you know, it's a 30 minute bus ride. It, it's not really, a, it's a 30 minute bus ride to Hongdae, which is kind of like the young, hip, like town part of Korea, university, university. and maybe it's uh, like a 15 minute bus rides kind of into Seoul. So, but I work in the country, like, there ain't no black people where I work. There's Southeast Asians, and if, you know, if any of you guys know about how Southeast Asians are looked at by Koreans, they're not very, they're not looked favorably upon. So, um, yeah, so I feel like I'm always getting, like, special privileges in treatment, and I know that I am, like, you know, like, just little things that I, that I see and notice. It could be acts of kindness just kindness but you know when I talk to other people they're like well that never happened to me but it could be because I live in the country and there's not a lot of foreign people here and by foreign I mean American <laughs> and by foreign I mean black <laughs> but you know what I mean and you live in the big city so they're probably used to seeing you all the time and everyone experiences it differently and but you've even had some pretty crappy things happen to yeah. you here I don't know, it was just little things yeah. that seem so much bigger over here. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know, you're made of, sometimes I just felt really incompetent and it, it struggled, I struggled with it because yeah. I'm not an incompetent person, I'm not a dumb person, but being at school, dealing with an all Korean computer. That is so annoying! The littlest yeah. things, having to go up and ask for help with the computer. And why is it, why, I'm sorry, <laughs> why is it Microsoft? Why is it Microsoft Office in English? Oh. You know you got the foreign teachers coming. You know how many PowerPoints I, I have accidentally And I told not that the saved. kids are there. You're the reason why the kids are going to the school. Well, the school's not made out for me. Like Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. So it it just those little things where it, I mean it's 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 just tough. Yeah. It's it's the greatest experience in the world because like I said, Korea has thickened my skin. To wrap this up, um, your experience here as a white girl and my experience here as a black girl, I feel like I came out on top, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like, I feel like our experiences haven't been too different. And, you know, uh, I feel like she's gotten the short end of the stick on a lot of things, things we didn't talk about, like her job and how she was first treated when she got here and uh, how her co-workers treated her versus how my co-workers treated me, you know, which was night and day. And then even with just like kind of like guy experiences too, like even that's been kind of different. And, uh, and I know this doesn't go for everybody, but I, I just think, you know, as I said before, me being just a little bit more of maybe an optimist than a realist, I think really it is your mindset. And I know you've had a positive outlook on a lot of things, and things are real. Like, stuff is going to hit the fan, and that is your experience that you have. You've had some negative experiences. You've had times where people didn't treat you as kindly as maybe you would have liked to, you know, at your job or whatever. But I feel like when I say your makeup of your mind is how what you take how you take that experience and how you view it yeah. you know what I'm saying like it's already happened you can't change it how are you gonna view it you know in what kind of light to make it to try and make it positive to find the silver lining and learn yeah okay. see I came to Korea wanting something different I came to Korea looking for that change in my life looking for something different yeah. and I wasn't going to let these little things bring me down or ruin the experience that I was and looking for. we talked for. about mm -hmm. when and we so first met. We have to tell our, our story of how we first met. Man, we were going to those meetups, meetup.com, meetup after meetup, trying to gems. Just, <laughs> trying to find friends. When we first got here, we didn't have any friends and lo and behold, please tell the story. Because I had been to these meetups and I was just meeting gem after gem after gem after time and after time and I was starting to lose hope because it's so hard. That was like on my last meetup. I was being told after, like person after person after person, because with Koreans it was, it was almost an exchange. It was, 
it was like a transaction. They wanted to be your friend, but they wanted you to teach them English. There was an, I come from a strong group of friends back home, and so it was a it it was just adding to the adjustments here, being like, oh, I don't know anyone, I don't have any yeah. friends, and I'm in a foreign country, and oh God, what else yeah. is gonna happen? Like. So yeah, so I go to this meetup right on time. So I'm the loser at the bar with two other people. At and the trust bar. the hostel is <laughs> mad fashionably late. I was on CP time, fashion time, <laughs> Hogwarts time, like. Oh no, I was one of the first ones at the bar, just hanging with gun. I don't know if I should have said that to you. God. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Kelly told me afterwards. <laughs> that I guess when she showed up diva fashionably late that <laughs> she was spotting us from the bar where I had been sitting for at least probably an hour. She was talking to the hottest dude in the bar. He was tall, skinny, dressed so... N oh my gosh, he was fine. That's probably the only guy we've ever we've ever just agreed with. He was fine. I saw him and I was like, dang, that snack got him first. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm standing behind them waiting to get my drink. Fine Korean had walked away. And right as he was like about to walk away, well, he hadn't walked away yet. I was thinking, should I go chase after that guy? He's really hot. I should strike up a conversation with him. But then I saw her and I was like, dang, she's really hot too. And I was just like, she could be like a cool person. Like she reminds me of somebody I'll kick it with back home. So I was like, who should I go after? This fine honey over here. Or should I try and make a new girlfriend? So he walked off and then <laughs> this fine honey over here is fine green. <laughs> so he walked off and I ended up talking to you. And then like, honestly, it was like one of the best decisions that I know ever made.